So hello everyone. On this video, I will be discussing the predefined functions. So predefined functions are usually used to encapsulate a certain code for us to be able to use it again and again using a function call. So for example, as I demonstrate uh, the function, uh, let me first create a normal way to calculate the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So the first thing that we do is to declare the two sides of a right triangle, let's say side 1, side 2, as double. Okay. So let's also create a variable hypotenuse for the result of our calculation. So, okay. So let's just set the value of side 1 to, uh, let's say, 3. Yes, 3. And side 2 as 5, 4. Okay. So knowing that a right, right triangle has three sides, so it's the side 1, side 2, and then the hypotenuse, the right, ang um, the uh, opposite and the adjacent side. So to calculate the hypotenuse, uh, the formula is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So to be able to do that, uh, we will be uh, using the hypotenuse variable is equal to the stored procedure, or the which is mat square root. So the square root of a squared plus b squared. So side one raised to two. Okay, raised to two plus side two raised to two. So from this, we will be able to calculate the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So let just let's just output it. So that we'll be able to know if the code is working. Okay. The hypotenuse of the right of the triangle is so let me just add here and hypotenuse. Okay, so let's just add a console.read key so that it will not uh, quit after executing the code. Okay, so there seems to be an error. Okay, yes, so what's the error here? Okay. Oh, it's working. Okay. So you can see here that we are able to calculate the hypotenuse. But what if we want to repeat the code again and again? So we can use for loops or even we can use or we can repeat the code. But it will make it more uh, unreadable and it will turn out to be a spaghetti code. So that is where we use function to encapsulate this uh, information or this code into one single function. So the things that we could do is to create a function and to be able to do that, uh, the syntax is function. Then the name of our function, let's say it's hypotenuse. Okay. Then let's declare the variables where we will be uh, in will be having the input for the hypotenuse. Let's say side one, uh, side one as double. So this will be the parameters of our function where the data will be transferred. Next is side two as double. Okay. So by this, we are able to create a function and we can call this function. But first, we don't have any formula to calculate the hypotenuse. So by that, we are using the return statement. So it will return the value once we call this function. So this is a function which is a value returning function. So it usually used when we are calculating something or we want to return a certain data the moment that we use the function so it only returns one value at a time so that is where the value returning functions are used so okay so let me just copy it here okay okay so by that we are able to create a function to calculate the hypotenuse so how are we going to use it <coughs> excuse me so how are we going to use this function and we are able to do that by simply calling this function as hypotenuse, okay? Hypotenuse. And then 
from the first and second parameter, let's just add side 1 and then side 2. Okay, hypotenuse. Okay, so there seems to be a problem for this one. Let's just remove this. Okay, hypotenuse. There seems to be a variable error for this. So let's use the hypotenuse, okay? So there is a conflict between the two variables. So we have to make sure that there is no the same or similar uh, variable name for the function. So there will be an error whenever we do that. Okay, so by this, we so let me just run this one. Okay. There's still an error and yet it still runs. Okay, so hypotenuse of the triangle is five. So we have the same answer. So what's base? So what is basically happening when we call function? So for example, we use the syntax hypotenuse. So it then calls the function, which is on the line two fifty two, and then from side one and side two, which it contains the numbers three and four. So it will be added here. The value of this uh, variable is three. And the value for this variable is 4. And then it will be used here in this uh, line 253 and also here. So after the calculation part, the function return will return the result and then it will output it on our function. So that's basically how we use function. It's, the, it's a way where in, we encapsulate and reuse is line of instruction. So that's it and see you on our next video.